We live in a world that's becoming increasingly connected. From corporate servers doing deals, to transport infrastructure managing traffic flows, and from energy suppliers reading meters, to your home automation that controls your lighting and your heating, and even teddy bears that are used to communicate with children. But the most important thing that all these things have in common is the need for security. Having a weak point in any of the connected devices poses a threat not just to the device, but to the network of all the others that are connected to it. But let's start with a reality check. And let's take a look at what this current landscape means for embedded security. As more devices are getting connected to the internet at an ever-increasing rate, these devices are getting more sophisticated in what they can do. This increase in sophistication translates into a requirement for more complex hardware and software design, and for more complex interactions between hardware and software. These new emerging technologies require the transfer and processing of assets more valuable than before. Assets that can impact critical infrastructure, our safety at home, in our cars, our privacy and even our medical conditions. And in this connected environment, attackers have the privilege of selecting the weakest element of a technology and initialising an attack from there. So we need to provide protection for all elements. This means implementing secure communication protocols correctly, protecting software stacks from being abused, and making sure that the hardware implementation does not leak information. The truth is that if a product is successful, it will most likely be attacked and breached at some point. This is true across the board from door locks to thermostats to automotive to industrial systems. And this is the reality that we need to deal with. Security boils down to trust. If trust was universally widespread, we would have no need to ensure security was built into our systems and processes. Trust is desirable for all of us. It's required by service providers and by the users of those services. Trust is a requirement for business success and if trust cannot be formed, for example if the users of the service cannot be trusted, then the business model is jeopardised. The ultimate goal is to minimise the need for trust and shift much of this trust to the technology that drives the devices used in the various business processes. For real world situations, and with this in mind, Effective security ensures that a movie studio does not have to trust a user, but can serve content to a user's device. It also means that a concerned homeowner does not have to trust an internet provider, but can connect to their home camera using its infrastructure. And it also means that a utility company does not have to trust a homeowner, but can measure the electricity consumed without needing to visit the house. So, if we place trust within the technology behind the device, rather than trusting the device's operator, then this approach enables both trust and businesses to grow.